Hi everybody. So in three school, we have been talking about seasons and right now it is the season called spring. And I am going to read a book today called What Makes the Seasons? Look, we have a question mark there. We're asking a question. What makes the seasons? Why is it spring? And why do we have winter and fall and summer? So we are gonna read this book by Megan Montague Cash. What makes the seasons? Hmm, I wonder what season it is on the cover of the book where we have an umbrella and some rain. Oh look, I see a kitty. What makes the seasons? Let's read it. Oh, I see a little flower. Oh, she's just waking up. The day began with sprinkling rain tapping at the window pane. We've woken up to a few days like that lately. Rain has turned the sky to gray. Our snowman friend has gone away. Oh, can you see that? The snowman melted. Hmm. Fresh green leaves are peeking out. What makes this their time to sprout? Oh, sprout. Spring's mild weather wakes the seeds, bringing showers each seed needs. Look at all those seeds started in the ground and then they grew roots and they sprout out of the ground. What are those little birds? Spring was here but couldn't stay. Spring left on a summer day. Plants that once were hardly there now have flowers everywhere. Look at all those beautiful flowers. It's summer. Let's count the pink flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each tree and weed and lima bean shows its favorite shade of green. Why is this a growing season? Plants grow tall, but what's the reason? Look at all those beautiful flowers and plants growing in the summer. Why do they grow? Plants grow best in summer light when days are long and warm and bright. So they need warm temperatures and they need warm sunlight. Everything likes to grow when it's like that. But when the summer days are done, the autumn days have just begun. The sun grows dim, the wind blows cold. Green leaves turn to red and gold. Do you remember trees looking like that in the fall? In the autumn, the leaves change colors and it's windy, look at her hair, so windy. The colored leaves dance all around, but why do leaves fall to the ground? Oh, who did that in the fall? Did you jump in the leaves? That is fun. In all the leaves on all the trees are teeny tiny food factories. Look at the trees like eating. Leaves use sun to make the food. When there's less sun, leaves come unglued. So the sun is going away and that's why the leaves fall. Oh, that tree looks sad. <gasps> what season is it now? It's winter. The weather brought a change last night. Winter turned the whole world white. What is this stuff, this white stuff called? Snow? Puffy flakes swirled high and low. Snow makes flurries. But what makes snow? Hmm. In chilly clouds, the raindrops freeze. It's one of winter's recipes. Look at all, the, all those children out playing in the snow. That is fun. Winter is a time for sleep. Trees are resting. Seeds will keep. Many creatures sleep and wait. Winter's time to hibernate. Hibernate means you sleep all winter. There's a little chipmunk and a hedgehog and a beaver, turtle and frog. They're all sleeping in the winter. Earth's yearly trip around the sun affects the seasons one by one. There's the planet we live on called Earth and it goes around the sun. In summer, when the days are long, the sun shines down both hot and strong. Summer. While winter has the shortest days, less time for Earth to get warm rays. Brr, cold winter. But when you have a winter day, it's summer half of the world away. 
So not everybody that lives on earth has the same season. If summer blossoms open wide, it's winter on earth's other side. This is called a globe where you can see the world. Seasons change four times a year. When each one ends, the next one's here. Enjoying changes one by one makes the seasons so much fun. So we have spring, summer, fall, and winter. That's the end. Thanks for reading.